Hello and welcome. My name is Jackie Russell. For those that don't know me, I am with the Crafty Haven. We do rustic home, farmhouse signs and home decor. And so today we're just going to make this cute little Easter bunny and carrot out of um, clothespins because I don't know about you guys, but my grandchildren just love to play with um, all of my decorations that I um, have sitting around the house. And so I figured, you know, if they want to play with them, I'm going to make them something that they can, you know, play with. And if it breaks, no big deal. So that's what we're going to do. It's really simple of what you need. You need a clothespin for each of them. Um, I have raffia, green raffia, for the carrot top, but if you have some green yarn, that will work as well. You're going to need a pink, light pink, um, paint for the ears of the bunny. You're going to need some black paint, some white paint, and some orange paint, some Gorilla Glue. Um, over here I have my um, hot glue gun. I have two paint brushes that I'll be using today. I have a really fine tip one, and that's just for help marking. And then I just have a flat brush. But you could also you um, get a real um, fine sharpie pen that will also work or a real fine um painter's marker and then you'll need some baker's twine this is halloween you can probably find some um easter ones with the pastel colors i by chance don't have any of them so i'm just going to use um just some plain baker's twine so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our clothespins apart. If you're like me, you can keep the metal pieces. You never know what you can find to do with them. But you don't have to keep them. So you just take them apart. So now you have two pieces. For the carrot, we're going to glue along this flat side. And I'm just going to put a little bit of Gorilla Glue across there. Not much. Just a tad bit. And then you're going to glue the flat sides together. And I like using the Gorilla Glue because it gives you a little more time to line things up. And we're just going to hold it for a few seconds. Let it um, bond. Like I said, the Gorilla Glue gives you, you know, that little extra second or two to align things up, adjust things before um, it dries, unlike regular super glue. Okay, so then for the bunny, we're going to take and we're going to glue just on this three little pieces down here, not the top part. So just a tad bit of glue on each, each little section. Because we want the, it's gonna be just like if it had the metal piece in there, because we want those sticking up for his bunny ears. So I'm just gonna hold this for a second. A simple, inexpensive craft that you can do even with the kids. I mean, they can help paint. I know my grandkids would love to, you know, paint and um, add the raffia and stuff to them. So a great kit craft that you can do with the, the you know, your children, kids. 
just hold it there for a second or two. Okay, put the lid on the Gorilla Glue so I don't spill it because I would do that. Okay, so then next all we're gonna do is paint. So I'm gonna start with white. And I buy the white by the gallon, so I just put it in a condiment bottle. Just gonna put a little bit on my tray over here. Okay, so with the bunny, we're gonna paint the outside. And these, you know, may take a couple coats depending on your white and how much the um, clothespins actually absorb the paint. And I'm gonna get into every little crease of the clothespin. Even into these circles if I can. You can paint them before you glue them. But like I said, it's going to be something that my grandkids are going to play with. So if it's not 100% painted inside there, it's okay. So we're just going to paint all sides. And I'm not going to let you sit here and watch me paint all of it. Um, so I will um, come back when I'm done painting here. I just want to show you on this one on how I painted all the little, all the spots. So you can see I painted inside there, the ends and all the sides. So like I said, it may take a couple coats if you wanted a really white bunny. So I'm going to pause the video and finish painting them. I'm going to paint the carrots, these ones that we glued together, um, just a regular orange paint. Um, and I will come back when my paint is done. Okay, while we finish letting the bunnies dry, we'll finish up the carrots. So I'm just going to take some raffia. Like I said, if you want yarn, or if you have yarn, you can use that as well. I just don't have any green yarn. So I'm just going to take and just kind of fold it up and bring it back down onto the carrot wood. I'm going to glue it down. This is just kind of giving you. So that's why I have my hot glue. And then we're going to do some more to it. So just going to add a little glue here. Just so it'll stick. And bring it up however tall you want it to be. You know, however tall you want your carrot sticks to be stock, I guess, on your carrot. I'm just putting some glue on the other side, bringing it up and back down. I'm just going to keep doing that all the way around the carrot. I'm going to pull these apart and they're gonna be 
it will be fuller on there. So we're just gonna keep bringing this around. And of course I'm gonna cut each of the loops as well. So it won't be loopy. I need a few more pieces here. And then I'm going to keep this piece to wrap around once I get all of these glued on here. So if you're just using yarn, you would do, you know, the same concept. You would hold your yarn here and, you know, loop it up so then you can fray it when you're when you're done. So that's what we have. It kind of looks like a hot mess right now, but it will look better when we're done. So I'm just going to trim this off. Now I'm going to take and add some hot glue here. Not on my finger. And I'm gonna take that other piece and I'm gonna start wrapping it around this way. I'm gonna start near the bottom to make sure I cover up all them ends and just keep on wrapping. Now I have glue up here, so it's holding it down. And I'm just gonna keep on wrapping around the top of the, the carrot. You can wrap it as many times as you want, as little as you want. I'm just going to bring it around and glue it. And trim up these ends down at the bottom that didn't get stuck under. So there's the carrot top. And then we're just going to cut our loops here. And like I said, you can make these as long as you want them to be and then we're just gonna kind of just pull them apart to make them all different sizes so if you were using yarn you would just pull the strands of the yarn apart the more you use the fuller it's gonna be We'll just pull these apart here. You can add in some natural raffia um, if you like for um, some different colors. You can, if you can find different colors of raffia, you can use um, jute or twine if you can find any of that. And I'm just going to kind of squish it and and there we go. A cute little carrot that you can sit down in a pot. I'm going to give my carrot a haircut. He's kind of, there that looks better. That looks better. So, you know, you can put them in a little bucket if you had a little um, bucket and just have them sitting around. You can put them on a tear tray if you had tear tray. Like I said, mine, my grandkids will probably play with them, which I'm okay because they're not, not that expensive to make. So that's one. That's the... Um, carrot. So now for the bunny, we have our white clothespin and we're going to take some pink. I like to use light pink, but you can use whatever color you want. I'm going to just dip my brush and make sure it's wet so it will glide on easier. I'm just dipping just the tip. I don't know. 
you can see that just the tip so we're going to go along the edge here and paint up the center of each of his ears And like I said, I'm just doing the tip of the brush so it makes it easier to do just a thinner line. And then I'm going to take my thin small brush, or you can use this, I'll show you with both. And I'm just using some black and I'm just dipping the tip in and I'm going to give him some little little paws I don't know if you can see them and then he needs some whiskers so you're gonna tie the ribbon around here so right in here is gonna be his nose so what you can do is take your fine pen and just draw some whiskers on there. Or you can use your paintbrush. Like I said, either one, um, either one will work. And then I'm going to take my paintbrush, but you can use the pen, and we're just gonna give him some little Black circle eyes. And we're gonna give that time to dry here. And then we're just gonna dot it with some white paint, but that's where we are so far. So while we wait for that to dry, we're just gonna tie a bow, attempt to tie a bow right around that crease of the clothespin. Let's see, it's just gonna be an itty bitty bow. If you had some small ribbon, that would be cute too. You could probably dye your twine yourself. Okay, so I got the bow. I'm just gonna make it smaller here. If you don't want the bow to come off, you can tie, um, glue it on. But I'm just gonna let it, let it be. There we go. We're just gonna trim, trim the tails off. There we go. And then we're going to find a pom pom. I thought I had one, but a pom pom. Oh, I got a little bead. We can do a bead. glue a little pom-pom right across that hole to give him like a cute little nose instead of the hole. So I think that's what I will I will do on mine. I'll post the finished photo at the end of this video. But aren't those just too cute? Just something that they can, you know, play with. So give me, in the comments below, give me, you know, um, what you would do with them. You know, would you put them on a tear tray? Would you put them in a basket? 
you know, you can, you know, let me know your idea what you would do with these cute little clothespin decorations.